What I really like about this cabin is all the building material, like 95% of it was sourced from this location. We've got dead cedar logs and then I used the actual just dirt from, from the area here. And the only thing I really bring, brought down was a few bags of cement and then uh, the plastic and, and tar for the roof. Um, but basically everything I have here, I could throw that into a backpack and I'd be out of here because I don't want to bring a bunch of junk down here. So for cement, I've been using, it's called Type N masonry cement that you normally mix with sand and that's for brick but you could bring portland or type s or whatever any any sort of cement that you'd mix with sand or gravel or dirt and then yeah just dirt from the ground around the area and i mix it up so it's kind of sticky Here's my little pile of black walnuts. The kind we normally eat that you'd buy at the store are white walnuts, I believe. These black ones that have aged, they're good to go. You just kind of crack that open, get the nut meat out. Okay, here we go. Got the floor all cemented, about an inch and a half thick. And some other day I'll go around the edges, probably just one more mix. But yeah, got the, the bulk of it done, pretty sweet. Once the cement dries on the back there, I'll peel that cardboard off and I think it really looks cool, these walls. And uh, now I'm going to mix one last batch of cement to get as many of these little holes and cracks filled. I am excited to see how the uh, cement floor is doing. Probably needs another day before I should be walking on it, but it's uh, gonna be hard enough. There we go, the first steps. Oh yeah. A lot of air in that one. This one's more dense. But yeah, that'll do. Oh, let's see, let's rip this cardboard off. Just a, a military ammo box from the surplus store, which is the hole cut here. 
And then I modified, just to make them the right size, some, some stove pipe. I actually made two out of one piece. And they simply just slide, stick in there and kind of like shingles, um, each one w runs into the next one. So if there's any of the creosote, um, it will just run back into the fireplace. open a crack to give it some airflow. Perfect. Now I just got to get some fire blanket in there and all around and make it nice and safe. Okay, the smoking process is doing well. Every time I put that piece of wood in, the flame starts shooting up, which I don't want. But yeah, okay, that's doing well. I've been chopping up these almonds and that's been going quite nice. Really easy, you just need the rock. Crack them open, crack it again, and the meat just falls right out. Pretty hungry too, though. I had some a little less burnt, and they just tasted exactly like walnut walnuts, but they weren't completely dehydrated. These ones are. Mm. It's been four hours now, and just to speed up the process, because it, it looks like it's coming along quite nicely. Um, I've cut it down in the thinner strips, especially some of the larger pieces. I think they were a little too big to begin with. What's up guys, welcome back. So we're uh, meeting Jeremy here, 6.30 a.m. Uh, York, Ontario, which is between Cayuga and Caledonia. So we forgot the GoPro, and 
then we saw lots of geese. We. Yeah. <laughs> we. Yeah. I forgot the GoPro. We saw lots of geese, and then near the end of the trip, we got three. Me. <laughs> Well, Jeremy's steering the boat. And now you're gonna clean a bird with a, a cut in your hand? Yeah, why not? I mean, like, I can't imagine how disease could enter your body from a Canada goose. Yeah, well, birds are clean, right? Yeah. And here was the, the good luck omen of the day. I'll give you a close up of the goose jerky. I mean, it's definitely nothing special, but we did it. We did it. It tastes. Tastes like jerky. <laughs> Tastes like geese. <laughs> it will, uh, it'll stay for a long time. Yeah, there's, there's the goose jerky. Stay on the campfire. Goose jerky. Yeah, where, yeah. where am I looking for a plastic bag in here? Goose hearts. That one guy's got a big heart. One of those hearts is really big, eh? Wow. So the geese that we got in the boat, we uh, rolled up on two geese. They were just sitting there and they let us get pretty close to them. And uh, I was at the front of the boat and Jeremy was steering us straight at them. We were expecting them to take off, but we got close enough and I shot the first one just sitting there, the coward's way according to uh, the comments in my last video, but you know, it's not like I'm not gonna shoot the, shoot the goose. Um, and then his, his, the other one obviously started taking off and uh, bang, bang, took him down as well. And then uh, just up the river a little ways, we saw a goose came out of the long grass from the bank. We didn't even see it, just out of nowhere. And again, I was on the front of the boat, quick shot, boom, down he goes. 